this is one of the main reasons why we have so many broken homes. We have so many split up families. We have so many childless, I mean, fatherless child or, or motherless child. It's because we don't sit down and actually really communicate with our partner on a certain level so we can know know who we're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? We more focused on the physical. She's pretty. She got money. She got a degree or he's this, that, and the third. He got a car. But nobody really is really sitting down and diagnosing uh, the, the, the red flags, you know, the things that, okay, wait a minute, this person might be dealing with something. This person might have some childhood trauma somewhere. And because we don't look for that in people and because we don't talk about it, we wait two, three years later to actually communicate about this. That burns a hole in a relationship. And then when you bring a child into that, you got two hurt people that have been traumatized. All an adult is to me is a child that's been traumatized and grew up. The pain is still there. You get what I'm saying? So now you have two adults, mother and father, that have been traumatized, didn't properly heal from it. And now they have a child. So that child has to bear witness to that trauma as well. You get what I'm saying? Now, granted, you have your relationships where there's a male helping the female and she's become better because he's in her life or he become better because she's in his life. But that's really the case. In our society, you see domestic violence, you see child support, you see you, you see a bunch of stuff because a lot of us are not healed. We don't know how to love ourselves, if that even love each other. And I think that's one of the main reasons we don't we don't ask enough questions. We don't do enough studying with ourselves and with each other before we even have a child. We just jump right into it. For example. I'm using my own situation, for example. I seen a lot of red flags of the mother of my child when I was dating her. I seen a lot of good flags, like, okay, she's great with children. She's, she's, she's clean, she cooks. I come home, she asks me if I need some water. I seen a lot of good traits, but the bad traits, the red flags are the ones that we ignore. I seen that once she didn't have a father growing up. That right there is a major red flag. That means somewhere on the line, she doesn't know the respect level for a male, how to interact with a male because, you know, her father wasn't there. So that's one red flag. Second red flag, you don't have to show your anger. Third red flag, you got a hitting problem. So these are, there's a lot of different red flags that I said, you know what, I could bypass that. I could try to change her, try to mold her. It's not my job to try to change her, mold her. It's my, it's my job to identify these problems and see if they, they correspond with my life. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't identify them and just left them and still continue to be in a relationship with this person. Now me and her have a child. Now me and her not speaking. Now I can't see my daughter because these are the things that we did not tackle in the beginning. 